Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa. Uh, today, we kind of have a lot going on. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you're new to the channel, um, my husband Jeff just had surgery about, he's actually in the room, what, like eight days ago? Yeah, nine. Nine? A couple days ago. Um, so he's been recovering from surgery. He had emergency gallbladder removal surgery. Um, so a lot of the you vlogs that you guys have been watching, you want to show them? <laughs> oop, oop, okay. There's more. <laughs> So he's been recovering from surgery. Um, a lot of the vlogs that you guys have been watching that we've uploaded this week have actually been, they were older vlogs. They were filmed like um, a couple weeks ago, like before he had the surgery. So for everybody that's like messaged me on Instagram, like asking if they were like recent, like they were like, oh, Jeff's moving around. It's like, well, that, that was because it was before. Today, we have a lot going on. So we're expecting some packages at our peel box. We have to go get our mail. Um, I have to pick up a few things from the store. Uh, we have to go to our bank and Jeff has a follow-up appointment with the surgeon today to check in on him after his surgery. So I'll let him talk to you guys a little bit more about like what all is going on. I mean, he is walking around, which is good. Yeah, I'm walking around. You're walking around. I can't lift anything though. And if I twist, yeah, because I have all, it's all internal uh, stitches and then the outside, the reason it looks like that is because it's glue. I hope like YouTube doesn't think it's like, <laughs> Like Nipples. you're showing your stomach and they're like, what is that? And then like this whole video gets like deleted or something. No. I guess we came down the stairs and she goes, I got your gallbladder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, somebody sent us a little gallbladder plushie and Gemma yeah, loves it. It's like her favorite thing. Yeah. So it goes this way. In the back there's a zipper and it has like little gallstones in it. And they have angry faces. <laughs> so you know what else I'd like to do today though? Um, clean up our house a little bit so that we can do, do you want to do like a fall Halloween house tour with me? Yes. That sounds kind of fun. You're like, I do, but I don't want to clean. Here, look at this. You can just <laughs> look at this. This is clean. Tour house tour. House tour. So maybe we'll try to clean up and then you and I can like film that tomorrow. That would be fun, huh? Yeah. And yeah, then you. We'll show everybody on this video. If We'll show them what's at the P.O. box, I think. If there's all that Halloween stuff. Oh, yeah. We're expecting do, do, a bunch do, of packages do. from Spirit Halloween, which we're really excited about. A bunch of our costumes. Costume review. So I guess this is a good a time as any to give you guys kind of an update about the surgery and kind of what happened that day. Um, I was up, and once again, this is a week ago, um, a week ago, well, I don't know when this video goes up, but I've only been out of surgery for a week, um, but I'm, I'm feeling better, but let's kind of start at the beginning. So I have these gallstone attacks, and it feels like, like a, like a heavy weight in your stomach. It's really, it's, it's, it sounds like what a stomach ache should be, but it's not a stomach ache like gassy or bubbly or anything like that. Um, it's a different kind of stomach ache and the pain radiates to your back as well. So it's enough pain where you can't go to sleep. So uh, the night before I went to the ER, I was up all night. The pain started at like maybe nine or 10 at night. Yeah. And then I ended up going to the ER. I drove myself at 7.30 in the morning and I didn't sleep all night. Um, I'd gone to the ER like six weeks before that and I didn't go to the ER this time until the pain was worse. Yeah. Well, that's when, the, the six weeks ago was when he found out that he had the problem. Yeah. And the first place, he didn't know what it was. So when he went to the ER the first time, that was when they did all the tests and like the scans Ultrasound and Ultrasound and found, yeah. And that's when they found it. So you only knew about it for six weeks. But in that six weeks, you had how many, like Ten. four or five? Oh, you had like, I, like more? Like, yeah, it was bad. Like, so he had these episodes where he was just like in intense pain and like all, you look kind of peaked and you just like and just felt awake. Like, yeah. You can't sleep. It's really painful. So, um, I check in and there's a couple of people in the waiting room and it turns out I have a buddy who is a ER doctor and I don't know if it was fate or what, but I got him and he already kind of knew about my situation. So, um, I told him, you know, I'd been in pain about 12 hours and I went back and got a bed and some pain medicine and some medicine for nausea and a, what is a, when they put the fluids in you? What's that like called? Like an IV. Like an IV drip. They gave you morphine though on IV, didn't they? Yeah, well they gave me the, yeah, painkiller, whatever it was, right? So I was a little bit out of it. it. The pain went away so I could rest. And once again, I was pretty tired because now it's, you know, 10, 11 in the morning and uh, I was I was tired, I hadn't slept all night. Yeah. So um, they said that they were able to schedule me for surgery, but it was kind of on a waiting list. And I can totally appreciate that. I was like, that's fine. Even if I have to wait like a day or two, you know, for an opening, because obviously if someone comes in, uh, into the ER with like a car accident or emergency surgery, like yeah. just bump me. Um, anyway, so uh, it was kind of like hurry up and wait because I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. And they're like, okay, we got to do a COVID test on you. 
and they put the thing in my in the back of my throat and both nostrils and it was really uncomfortable and I feel like the nurse spent way too much time in the first nostril. <laughs> It goes all the way back in your throat, and then it was like the same thing, like into my nose. I was like, Ugh. You're like "Why are you doing and, this?" But she put it all the way back until it hit, like that right behind my brain. brain. And then she was spinning it. For it felt it was probably three seconds, but a thousand one, a thousand two, a thousand. It felt like a week. I was like, "Is this?" So, oh, it was terrible. The scariest part for me was that once he got to the hospital, the reason why he drove himself was he felt like he could, but also because of, you know we had all the kids at home. And they, you're not allowed to bring anybody with you to the ER or the nope, hospital. No like guests. they don't let anybody else in. So the whole time he was in there, I wasn't allowed to be there with him. But the problem was, is once they got him on the IV with like the drugs, like the morphine, uh, he was not coherent. Like it was a combination of probably morphine and whatever else sleep deprivation. You. Right. So when I so he I was, was calling I was, me, I was like. And I, I was like trying to get updates. Um, and I talked about it on my Instagram stories. Like I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like he's been at the hospital. Um, the doctor didn't call me till you were in surgery. So I didn't know. So he, Jeff just said, they're sticking a thing up my nose, COVID test. And then they're, they're gonna do, they were probably gonna do surgery in like an hour. And like, that was the update that I had. And it was like, right, but the thing was, I didn't have a time. So all the way until like four o'clock, I didn't have an update for Melissa, right? So what do I call and be like, nothing still. Well, but he like didn't there was even, no update because it was like yeah. sometime this evening. So in my head, I was like, I'll probably have surgery like 9, 10 at night. Well, so, while you were in surgery, I don't know if it was, I think it was a, do a do one of the doctors. They called me while you were in surgery and they were like, your husband's in surgery. Everything's going fine. We should be done soon. And then they said I would get another call from like a post after like an yeah. aftercare nurse which i did get like an hour later well is that so, when it, is that when they said come pick me up no the first they called and they okay, said okay so you got a lot three calls yeah. i got three calls they said that he was that we were in a lot of pain and they when gave you more medicine after the surgery when the nurse called me oh yeah they said he was in a lot of pain they gave so you more let, let me get to that story let me okay. get to that part so so they kind of take me back and i didn't have a visit from the surge i get it, it's er right so it's like Bing, bang, boom. So it wasn't like a standard, regular deal. Because in my head, I was like, okay, the surgeon will like, talk to me about what's going to happen. And then afterwards, they'll tell me how it went. Right. Those two things didn't happen. Now, my ER doctor, he checked on me every part of the way, which is totally like a blessing. Like when I got moved to the operation room, whatever, he checked yeah. on me. After the operation, he checked on me. So like, big shout out. Like That's awesome. I, that, that is... Especially since I couldn't be there. Super solid to have somebody yeah. who cares about you. So that was that was awesome. You know, they, they did stitches. They put four holes in me. You can look up the surgery if you want. Don't do it. But, Don't look it up. It's gross. But they put four holes in you, and they they sew the muscle back together, and then they just glue it from the outside. Yeah. Straight up. So. Well, so now he's still having some pain, but it's manageable. Like, you haven't even really been taking Tylenol or anything, I haven't, have I haven't taken anything. I just, just tough yeah. it out. So we're just at home now. He's recovering. It's been a rough week. Um, because it was like an emergency, like it was really scary, like not knowing what was going on, not being able yeah. to be at the hospital with him. Um, the kids, you know, were obviously nervous. You know, their dad's at the hospital. They don't know what's going on. Um, so it's just, it's just been a lot, but we're very glad that he's doing better now. And I mean, yeah, we do have a couple concerns about some of the incisions that we're going to talk to the doctor about today, but and about, yeah. about the pain, you can talk to him about that too. And there's some other little know. side things I'm going to talk to them about. And then I got the other night, I was telling Melissa, I didn't go to sleep. It wasn't because of pain. I was uncomfortable, but it was like 5.30, 6 in the morning. And I think I finally went to bed. That was yesterday, actually. And I was, because I had like read about, you know, post gallbladder surgery and all this different stuff. And I think they take it out pretty aggressively and... I, I, I'm yeah. really having a hard time finding good information about like diet and health after gallbladder, your gallbladder comes out. Right. But, but and I think there are some right. like changes and stuff that you need to make to your diet because of the way that it functions, right? So yeah. anyway, so that's a whole nother thing. We're so. going to go in, I guess we're just get the, uh, our PO box like we promised. Yeah, we'll show you what came and then uh, we will also show you uh, Jeff's appointment with the doctor later or the nurse, whoever you're calling um, to answer those questions and check it back in on the kids and yeah. All right, let's get our stuff. Pretty much nothing at the P.O. box. We got groceries though. I guess I could show you guys quick. Got some bread and, oh, is that pumpkin donuts? Pumpkin donuts are really good. Mm. So yes, the kids love pumpkin donuts. They only have them for like 
the month of October. So we got yeah. them and we got a Starbucks. So that's yeah. good. Anyway, we're going to head home. Jeff's doctor's appointment is shortly. Yeah, we got it back. And we're going to check in on the kids. We've been letting them, the bigger girls, you know, they're 12 and 16, um, babysit for like short amounts of time while we go like to the grocery store or to the bank or yeah, something. Yeah, we've been gone about 40 minutes. Yeah, they're doing a really and good job. And we're just down so the street. We're, yeah, we're down the street. We're really proud so, of them. They're being very responsible. They're very good. Hello, she hasn't called you yet. It's okay. I mean, I, 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 just, I just figured they got delayed or something. Um, but I just wanted to... Okay, thank you. So it's a little after four now, it's 4.09, and I didn't get a call at 3.30, so I just called over to the surgery center, and I guess uh, the gal's just been really busy, and I believe it's a nurse that's gonna be giving me a call. So it's kind of a lot of confusion. I thought I have an appointment for a doctor call, and they said it was a nurse, and then it's 40 minutes later, which I totally get, um, but yeah, I didn't get a call, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a call tomorrow or later today or what's gonna happen. Um, but we did have kind of an interesting development. We had a delivery at our house. So you guys are gonna definitely have to check back. This is all from Spirit Halloween. So what do you think, honey? What do you think of that? I'm really excited. We're gonna open it up and see what it is. I'm pretty sure it's our costumes and some Halloween decorations and some other goodies that they sent us. So I'm like really, really excited. Yeah, so you guys have to check back for the next video and I'll probably give you just a really quick update, not like, a long one, but okay. just let you know how it went with the doctor uh, when I meet with the doctor. But thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more Halloween videos and lots of more fun stuff. Make sure you check out my awesome wife's uh, other channel, <laughs> Melissa Weiss, super great mom channel, a lot of fun stuff. Um, and our Instagrams are, are pretty cool all too, be, it'll all be especially hers. The box below. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.